Hello, good evening and welcome to another Wooden Wednesday. It's my midweek makings, the day when I actually do something rather than just talk to people. So I'm here uh, watching in the chat tonight. We have Pascal, we have Wendy, uh, we have Mayhem and just come along is Paul De Mas Paul DiTomasso. So welcome to you all. Um, I'm sure there are other people here as well. If you're watching and not in the live chat, then come along and join in the chat because it's, it's more about you lot chatting than actually watching me do anything because... <clears throat> it's just boring watching me do things, but you can you can chat while I'm talking in the background and wittering on, and it'll all be good fun for everybody. Um, so uh, without further ado, let me go back to show you. Uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm continuing on from last time. Now they they do go together, but they don't go together yet. That's just plopped on there. Um, last time I built the base. And this cunning contrivance, which has got moving bits, look, it, it, it twiddles. It's got a twiddly handle and it moves and does things. Um, so we shall be continuing. Well, I, I'll be continuing. You'll be watching, but I'll, I'll be doing the stuff. Um, it is, in case you missed it, um, the marble parkour uh, from 
I can't see the name of these things in them. From from Rocker, the people who made the uh, the puzzle box that has been wildly popular over Christmas. I think a lot of people got the puzzle box for Christmas and didn't know how to build it properly, so they found my video. Um, so I shall descend to the bench and show you more of what I'm doing, really. Uh, in the box, uh, Mayhem says, Chris rocking the last exit to nowhere t-shirt. Is it? It's not. It's 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 an Australian book. Anyway, um, yes. Uh, in the box, let me move the kit out of the way for now. If I put that over there, then we can go into the box, and you'll see what I've got. Now you have the instruction manual. Um, now this kit was kindly bought for me uh, by my lovely wife. Um, but it's the foreign version. Um, it, it's not got English anywhere in it. Um, but we don't need it because it's all pictures and stuff, so it's it's fairly easy to comprehend. Uh, if it's your first build, then you may have trouble. But as I've built similar things like this before, I've got a vague idea how things work. Uh, so previously, I have done all of this stuff with the handle. That's where we finished. And I, I stopped here because it started getting complicated. Um, the way these kits are made... They're made on wooden sprues, which are laser cut, basically. They they cut through, actually you can see quite clearly on that one, um, bits on the corner are not cut through. Uh, well, it's a test piece, so it's a bit different. Um, there are a couple of basically like nubs on a modern model kit. You can see on there, there's a little fine piece where the, the cut hasn't gone through, which holds it into, into place on the, the kit. Uh, you just pop, pop it out. And that enables you and then build it um now that some of them are quite fine like that that's popped out in storage and just in use uh but it's not too difficult to understand on these they're quite good the the numbers appear to all be on the kit themselves so that one as it says b1 you know exactly where it's going to go when b1 pops up in the instructions uh there are many many sprues on this as you can see some that we haven't even touched on yet a couple that we've almost finished like that one uh we also have a box of bits and um, there's the ball bearings which i'm not going to use until the end obviously uh the other bag here of things let me clear the decks a little bit further get rid of that uh the bag here with a couple of, sort of tools for turning nuts and pushing things uh little washers sandpaper and wax uh, some parts where the wood is rubbing against each other you need to wax it to lubricate it slightly so it all works and doesn't seize up. Um, so yeah, uh, without further ado, the sandpaper, obviously you need to tidy up some bits here and there. Uh, I'm going to leave the washers in there because I don't know. There's two more axles that I'm sure are going to get used at some point. But at the moment, I'm just going to get the little blob of wax out because I'm sure that's going to be used momentarily. The sandpaper will be used on almost every part, just to get rid of the little edge pieces and the nubs. Uh, so, what I did last time is what I'll do this time. I'm going to move my keyboard out of the way from under the drawer. And then the pieces I can put just out of the shot. Just that you can see the shot there, it's just there. Um, I can put them down there, out of the way, and go to them when I need them. But they're out of the way from clearing the bench. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, Jammer is in chat as well. Then hello to everybody. And, and that's everybody so far. So yes, uh, let's have a look. It tells you on the side here uh, what you're going to need. I'm going to move that chat. I've got the chat right in the middle of the screen there, but then I can't see exactly what I'm showing. So if I move it down there, shall I move it over there? Then it's out the way for me, but I can still see it when I need to when I go back over there. Right. Um, yes, down the side here, it tells you what you're going to need for that stage be it one panel or the entire thing uh, so for this i need two e9s an e10 and two g8s now the e9s are the little washery pieces i think no they're not they're e it said i've forgotten now it did tell you at the beginning but that was like last week so yeah no they were um p p numbers were things p, p but they're all the special bits right so everything that's not P is a proper number. Uh, so each sprue has a letter designator. There's G, look. I need G8. I need two of them. That's these little pop-out things. So I'm going to pop out four of them because I see the next picture says I need two of them as well. 
and they come out in fours so that's convenient so that's four of those sitting over there ready to go ready to be tidied up let me get the rest of the pieces i need which is ease uh so i don't want c or d uh, or b i do want e so i'll get the e sprue uh Lynn's in Lynn was just watching last week's wooden wednesday well now you can watch this week's as well um all you missed last week was building the thing the thing i'll show you that in a minute uh all oh, right e9 we've got loads of them all over the place so i need two of those for this and an e10 so let's pop out two nines i don't know what this part is that we're building now obviously we've done the the main sort of power source if you like well it's, it's person powered just by pushing the thing um but uh yeah right so we've got that 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 and two of those so before i get into anything i'm going to give these a quick sand because they'll be the bits that hold it all together so you need it quite able to fit through and the edges of these, again, if they're going to be moving surfaces, you need to make sure there's no sharp edges, sharp nubs. But even if they're not, it makes it look a little bit nicer if it's sort of polished. Just no sharp bits sticking out of it. Uh, right, let's get rid of the nasty bits. There we go. And then we can see about putting it together. So I've got the nine like that. That goes there and that goes there and these go through rather well, right slightly wider holes in those which is where these pieces go no spoilers chris please says lynn well you'll sort of notice if you're going to continue to watch this week's then you'll notice what i built last week because i'll no doubt be building this onto oh, what happened there right for some reason they seem to have just disintegrated Maybe there's something wrong with them. Uh, we'll hope that there are some spares for that because I don't know that that's going to work. Hmm. I'll see one of them might work. No, that's not going to work. Right. I'm hoping there's spares. If not, I will have to make up some extra bits from spare woods. So I have to do some carving and whittling and make them fit. That's better. That goes through there. I didn't do any different to that last time, so. I don't know. Maybe they were damaged. Uh, so that goes through there, and then they go through there as well. Just to fit together properly. Let's get that. Doesn't matter which way up these go, because they're the same all the way round. That one on there, and that one on the other side. I'll put it so the number is on the inside, just in case it's visible. Might as well make it look nice. So there we have that, making a nice little uh, block there. We're going to call that D, apparently. I'll put that to one side. We'll do the next one, and we've got to do lots of these by the looks of it. So there's lots of 9s, uh, lots of G8s, and various different ones of these. So let's... Uh, can I still see... Yeah, it still says E10 on the side there, so I know which one of those that is. Uh, so I need one, two, three, four, five more. So there's two. Three, four. It looks like we get one spare, so that's not going to do us very much good, as I need two. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. And if I need more, so I can always make some up. Or we'll basically just glue the bits together. That will That will also do the job. So get all of those there out of the way. Then I need two, four, six, eight, another ten E9s. Two, four, six, eight, ten, leaving a couple of those spare, which is handy. I might need them in a minute. I don't know what's on with the next page, so, you know. Uh, right, popping those out. Uh, two, four, six, eight, nine and 10 do it production line styly then i can uh, get through them a little bit quicker i'm expecting not to finish this tonight uh i'm expecting to get you know most of the way through it 
But as ever, Ted's on at nine, so I can't overshoot. But um, uh, Twisted Rail's here, Eric. Evening. Welcome. And um, yeah, I can't overshoot at all. So uh, got to be done by nine. So I'm expecting next week I shall come back and finish this one off. Uh, and then the week after, I shall progress on to something else, something a bit different again. Uh, I don't know. I haven't got any plans as to what to do after this. Uh, I do have another one of these, which is much the same, which I bought for myself at the same time that Gemma was buying me this one. Um, it's the, the same front end, but the back bit of it is different. Um, this is called the uh, Parkour Marble Run. Uh, the other one I've got is called something different. It's called the... Oh, this... That, this this is the marble parkour, and the one I got myself is called the marble run. So it's a little bit different. Right, that's those. So for the next one, I need 11. Uh, then it's going to be 12, 13, 14, and 15. So I can get all of those off as well. We've got 11. They all seem to be much the same, just different lengths. They get longer. Oh, it's got the F written on there as well that's convenient so when it says put g on there uh what do i want 13 and two three more which is convenient because there are three more so i might have spare bits we can hope we can hope uh so it's now um i don't even know what day it is now i know it's wednesday but i've got no idea what date it is it's the 13th sounds about right so we're closing in on the middle of January uh, 2021. Uh, and so far, the year has been quite um, intriguing. Uh, lots of things going on in parts of the world. So, uh, yeah, we thought 2020 was going to be it and 21 would be fine. But it's not so much fine as still interesting times. So I'm hoping that everybody is staying safe and well. Looking after yourselves and others. Um, because we, you know, we're all in this together, as they say in high school musical. Um, I obviously have the traditional brandy to see the new year in still. Pretty sure I'm allowed to do that for a while yet. Uh, right, I'm going to put these together in no particular order. Because they've basically just all got to be done, so let's get them all done, and then we'll worry about what happens to them next time. <clears throat> um, so how is everybody? Are you all doing all right? I know it's not, you know, ideal getting on times, but it's it's all right, isn't it? We all got to get by with it. So how is everybody? Give me some good news again. Let, let's do the... Something nice must have happened to you in this past week. So sh spread the joy. Tell everybody in chat one nice thing that's happened to you during the week. Uh, what's happened to me nice this week? Anything particularly nice happened? Um... Uh, last week my car was in for MOT uh, and I was a bit moody on the on the Wednesday because they kept it overnight. I don't like being separated from my car. Uh, but on the Thursday I got it back. It was all sorted. Uh, there were no major problems. Uh, the problem they thought they had wasn't actually a problem. The problem was that the um, battery had died. Uh, Mainly because my battery's not been in great condition this year, because it's not been doing long journeys and stuff. It's just been doing short, short hops, and the battery doesn't like that. And so, in between them, you know, getting it, repairing it, and doing whatever they need to do in it, uh, and starting, stopping, and whatever, the battery had died. So when they tried to start it again, it messed up the entire, you know, onboard computer things that cars all have now, uh, and that messed up other things. So. It caused, you know, more electronic problems than anything else. But they got to the end of it on the Thursday and sorted it out. And I went, went back and collected it. And it's all been fine for, the, for me the last week. So that's sort of good news. 
the bad news is it obviously still cost me to have the MOT done and repairs and stuff, so yeah. But, you know, you've got to have these things done. Uh, right, so we've got these little, um, I don't know, hammer teeth things, different connection bits. I don't know what I've done with them, but I've done them now, so they'll sit there until I need them. Uh, Lynn, you know the rules. What's Lynn done? Oh, Lynn says, time to fix a sandwich to be continued with the details. So that's okay. She, she knew that she was going to come back with the details. She might not know what she's making. Uh, Twisted Rail says, uh, Wednesday makings is the best thing this week. Well, it's a good thing, but hopefully it's not your best thing the week because there are better things out there. Uh, right, let's see. What we need from E? Because I've got E. We need two five, two sevens, and a 16. Well, there's two. Just going to pop out. Yeah, there we go. Two, five. There we go. Okay, there's lots of fives, so I'm assuming they're all going to be needed because once you get one of these things out, the rest are pretty sure to follow. A two, a five, two sevens, and a sixteen. Okay, there's a sixteen. Again, once once you get one of those out, the other one's going to follow. But there we go. So then I need two sevens. So these are the sevens. Uh, obviously they're all the same because they've got the same name. So I shall pop out two of those and we'll see if I can just get two of those. There's one. That's okay. The one up the top there is another one. So that's all of that. I need A, uh, six, five and two threes. Let me find the A screw. Get some of these up there then I can keep track of where they all are a little bit easier. Uh, there's the A screw. This is the one with the twiddly curly bit on it. Uh, two number threes. A three. There we go. There's two threes. Oh, there's nearly three threes. I just want two. You can stay. Oh, I've got three threes. I'll go over there. Uh, a five and a six. A five. There we go. That's one of those. And six is one of these. They all look like there's multiples of all of these. So I'm sure this is another case of build that and then in a minute we're going to build another one exactly the same so a little bit of tidying up uh candy grams here as is george george gabriel's here then oi what have i missed uh it depends did you just get here because you missed last week in that case but if not then um yeah i'm building a, a marvel run basically it's a one of these wooden kits that i do enjoy doing and um that's that's pretty much it. I'm just putting out, cutting out bits of wood, sanding them down, and fitting them together. So that's all you've missed, really. Uh, Candygram says one good thing this week. I was able to get a 70-year-old fountain pen to work well again, and it's been a joy to write with. Writing is something that doesn't happen much in this world, is it? Um, it's it's all typing and uh, you know, writing on a touchscreen, styluses and things. Um, I did learn how to write with a fountain pen at school. But it ruined me for life. I can't do it properly. And my handwriting turned miserable and horrible because they sort of tried to force me to write in italic. And I sort of half learnt it and it didn't go well. So uh, if I do try and write anything, it's in some strange half breed of italic and non italic and it doesn't work well. <clears throat> right, let's have a look at this. We've got the big bit with the arrow pointing that way. Uh, we need D, which I assume is the shorter one. Yes, D is the short one. Uh, with the teeth going that way, which go through the hole that's labelled with a D. Like that. Okay. Then we get the E7s. Move them out of the way a bit further. The E7s with the cut out that way. Both go over the top of that. Now, wait a minute. That's got arrow on there as well. So they go that way, on there. Okay. Then the A6, which is that one. Oh, that spaces those apart to a particular place. I've got that. Okay, I can see how that works. That locks onto those two. A bit deeper than that, I think. 
There we go. So that looks onto those two. So that's now locked into that tube there. Uh, ba -ba -ba. uh building some wooden ball puzzle trap thing, says Paul. Yes, about right. Doing okay myself, says George. That's good to hear. I know you've not had an ideal time of it recently. So it's uh, good to hear that you're getting there. Uh, right, let's get this in the right place. It's got over there, and then that locks backwards a bit, and then that goes down there to hold it in place by the looks of it. We get it the right way round. That goes in there. Ah, yeah, that will go all the way down there, and then key in to that, making a nice flat across the top. I do like the design of these things. They work. They just work well. Uh, so this and that and that. Right, so we've got that going there with the little one going through the top hole then somehow all of this goes onto there I know what this bit is now this is the little uh, pushy bits that the the ball lands on top of and slides all the way down that one goes on that side okay and then that goes on the front Like that, sort of, nearly. It will, yeah. There it goes. So we've got a nice little box like that that the ball's obviously going to sit on or under or around, and as that goes up and down, that will move it along. So that's that. Now we've got to do the same again for E, uh, which is the next one along, which is going to go through there like that. And then I bet we've got to do the same again for uh, that one and that one. And they're all the same pieces. A3, 5, 6, 5, 7, 16, yeah. That, 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 that. So we've got to do the same again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five more times. Just with different posts. So let me get out the parts that we're going to need. Five more times works real well because there's five more of them. Uh, leans back. Sandwich is chipolate chicken breast and chipolate gouda, 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 gouda cheese, uh, barbecue Pringles and a Dr. Pepper. I knew the Dr. Pepper was going to come along. And barbecue Pringles is probably the best Pringles. So, yeah, that, that'll do. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's all of those as well. A3, all those couple of A4s there. Oh, oh. Tricky. They're going to have to go on something specific, aren't they? Two of these are A4. So let me just have a quick look through and make sure. I feel it's going to be the last one. They're all A5, A6. That's different. Uh, E5, A3, 5, 6, 3, 5, 6. This one's different. 3, 5. There's no A6 for that. What's the A6? Oh, that's the bit that holds the th two things together. All right. So we won't do it until that one. Something happened, but I can't see what it was. But uh, probably a, a new subscriber. So if you're new, welcome. Hello. Come in, chat and say hello. Uh, yeah, so let's just have a look through this. this. These are all the same. So it's only that last one with I. That we've got to do different so i put that to one side so i don't go too far i put one of those over there as well all right so we've got four identical things to do so we've got uh threes yeah they're all the same that one and the two at the top there are the same All right, so I'll keep the fours there because I need them for later. Uh, sixes, I need the other three, four, three, because it's four that would be the strange one. Get the other sixes out of there. All right, so that's all of those. Then I needed uh, two, three. There's an extra one of those for the looks of that. So we get. I needed two for each, didn't I? So we get out 
two, two. No, no, there's more over there as well. These are E7s. Yes, E7s. I'm going to lose track of which bits I've done and not done and things anyway. But they've all got the names written on them, so that makes it quite easy to keep track of. And so for each thing we need one of them, one of them, one of them. One of them, one of them, two of them. Two of them and one of them. That's really two of them and one of them. And that was the other one for the extra one that I don't know about yet. Uh, that one, that one, that one. Must be another E6 around somewhere. Two sevens, two sevens, two sevens, one seven. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to jump ahead as much as I thought I was going to because I don't think I've got all the right bits. So the numbers are going to change. So let me just get a few of these out. And instead of jumping ahead and trying not to follow the instructions, I'm going to shock and horror i'm going to follow the instructions a bit i know it's terrible i know you don't expect it from me but sometimes these things happen uh muse is here wants in sit down for a few brought coffee with her no doubt welcome how are things over there uh right all these are going to need to be fitted anyway so i'll get these all sanded up and then i shall follow the instructions a little bit find out what i've got to do for the next bit yeah not that bit i know what i'll do with that bit drop it down there right and then that one that one tidy sorted clean clean tidy sorted uh someone said something uh edward uh he's here i've got a new gas range today finally converted from an electric range uh yeah we use gas for cooking um we use gas for central heating as well we use electric for electric but all the uh heating and cooking is done through the, the gas uh it's just not personal choice as such as just how the house is set up um i don't know that there's a big difference in um, you know, economy or cost to the individual in using either gas or electric. Uh, obviously, electric is better for the environment, assuming that it's uh, created through, you know, renewable sources and stuff, which most of it isn't, to be honest now. So, yeah. Uh, Christian Rao says, wait, for instructions. Yeah, I, I know it does happen from time to time. Sometimes I, I read ahead and think I've read it properly, but I haven't. But then sometimes I do go back and read it again. Shock horror, but these things happen. So a little bit of tidying. And then we'll get back to the assembly. Uh, Lynn says, what? Chris, follow instructions. Uh, it's called 999. Yeah, you got the number right as well. Well done. oil my chair it's making more creaky noises than it used to right let's have a look and see what we've got to do now according to the instructions i've got the e that's gone through there i need two of the e7s which have got the arrows on them pointing in the way that they should point so that's going to go down to there and that one's going to go onto that top bit there on the side of that, we've got the A6. I knew I had something I didn't get for this one. That goes on there like that. Uh, Mew says, I prefer a gas stove for cooking, but we have electric. Just the way the house is for now. Absolutely, yeah. It's uh, Unless you've got a, a strict preference one way or the other, then the, the bother and expense of getting it changed over just isn't worth it. Ideally, everything would be electric and it'd all work through, you know, your own solar panels or wind wind generations and stuff like that. But in practice, it's very unlikely anyone's going to have that set up for a, a while yet. 
Uh, right, let's get the threes on the sides there. This is going to work. So, uh, not the threes yet. Something else has got to happen there. The 16's got to go down the top. That way round. And lock everything in place. Chris, read the second half on Eric's message. Uh, which bit there? That bit about Gemma throwing a sand lap. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Disappointed he didn't read the second part of the message. Yeah, I'll, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> uh, Gemma says, Chris learnt after missing six steps out when helping Katie make a wardrobe. The instructions should be followed. No, because I built, built it without following all the instructions like that, and it worked. She got a bit upset, but she, she was happy in the end because it all worked. And we got it built like, quicker than following the instructions. Got to get that down a little bit further. But I'm worried about pushing it too hard. So there we go. We get that down there. Right, now we can get this on the side there. And it's got a hole in the top there, but I think that's... Uh, did I did have another bit. There's another bit. There's a whole other bit that I haven't got yet. Uh, the A3. Did I not get those out yet? Uh, A. I know, A3 was that bit. It was the other bit across the top. E5. That was it. I didn't get them yet. Uh, e, 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 E5. There we go. I didn't get those out. Get all of those off. Tidy him up a touch. There you go, Eric, says Lynn. Yeah. Uh, Munchkin model making man, modeling man, 72. Late to the show. What's being built? Uh, I am building the second part of this construction of the uh, wooden marble parkour. Uh, it's like a, a marble race type thing, uh, powered by a little handle. Uh, I shall show you momentarily uh, the bit that I built last week. Uh, this is the, the continuing saga of building on top of it, basically. Uh, which, I'm following the instructions. People don't like it, like I'm following the instructions. People get confused because it doesn't normally happen. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to follow the instructions. So that's going on there like that. And then we've got this bit to go on the front. I would have been happy starting from the other end if you got to put things on the front but not on the back. But that would mean not following the instructions and I wouldn't do that. So now we've got two of these things at different heights which the marble's going to dribble up and down and round and stuff. There we go. Uh, Ghost Riders here. I'm expecting a sandal coming into view on the tiny screen. No, no we'll get a bigger screen. That'd be the answer. <laughs> Right, so that's that one. I've done that. I should turn the page. Step number 15 involves doing exactly the same again for F. We shall get F. We'll put that through there like that. Right, then we'll get two of the sixes. I think the parts have got shuffled all together over here. Right, two of the sixes. With the arrows pointing in the correct directions. That one's going to go on there. And that one is going to go on there. Okay. Then we get an A4. Ah, there we go. There's the A4. That's where the 4 slips in. For some reason, that one is the A4. These ones here. Don't know why, but you know, you just got to follow the instructions and do that. Something that detailed, you need to. Yeah, I sort of um, skipped ahead a little bit, but yeah. Uh, A4 and an E8. Uh, that wasn't the bit that I just found, was it? That was five. So E8 is oh, it's rounded. Okay. This is a bit strange. I thought this the different one would have been at the end, not in the middle. The fact that it's in the middle has sort of thrown me and confused me. I'm slightly confounded. Uh, so that's going to go on there. Like that. 
Uh, although I haven't finished this yet, I've got to do oh, this. E6, is that? Oh, that's E7. I've done that wrong. See, that's not E7. They've got to be E6. Uh, they're ones that haven't got the cutout bit on them. So, again, being in the middle, I'm just confused as to why these are different. So, again, they've still got the arrow. They still need to go on the same place, but it just doesn't have the same thing locking it from the side for some reason. That goes on there. And then I get a 16 again. Yes, 16 still goes down there. So lock that in place. Eventually, if I can manoeuvre that a little bit further, there we go. Uh, you lot are terrible trying to get people in trouble throwing things at me. Let me curve bit. There we go on there. So that then goes on there. Like that. Uh, Shane's here. Good evening, Chris and everyone. Hope you're all safe and well. Well, I'm well. I don't know about safe. I, I'm feeling a bit ganged up on. They're, they're talking about throwing things at me. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to lubricate these posts. Because they're going to be going up and down. And they'll need to make sure that they slide properly. We do that before I put the next ones together because it's easier to do then. There we go, I had to. So they're going to be going up and down on that. Right, so that was that one, which was different. Now we're going back to the more normal ones. I need the sevens, the G. Uh, I need another 16. I do need an A6 for that. Uh, then I need the two A3s and the five to go across the top and then that no the five didn't go across the top oh the e5 goes across the top and the a5 goes across the front that's where it gets confusing because they're using the same numbers but different letters all right so before i put that on there i shall lubricate the shaft somewhat there we go <laughs> then we can get that through there and then we can build all this bit on there like that like we've been doing before that one on there that one on there top that one holding that together from there like that yep there we go then that can go down the side Like that. Then we can have that going on there. Uh, if you're new to the channel, then thank you for coming along and watching. Um, as ever, obviously, like and subscribe because it uh, helps out the channel by you joining in, uh, watching the adverts and things like that. Uh, if you'd like to help the channel and myself a little bit further, uh, you can always become a channel member by clicking the little join button that's underneath the videos on YouTube. Uh, or even becoming uh, one of my patrons on patreon.com. Uh, I'll put the links, uh, there we go, in the chat there, hopefully. That one didn't work because that one was still working. Uh, so that's the uh, channel membership link, and my patron link is there as well. Uh, there are several of both of each in the chat already. Um, they'll tell you how good it is to be, you know, a channel supporter and a member and a, a, a patron. Um, there are added perks for different tiers of membership and things. Uh, all my videos will still be available for everybody. Um, but, you know, the more people that help out with that sort of thing, the easier it is for me to make these videos and, you know, invest in kits to build, kits to stream with, things like that. So uh, do consider popping along and seeing if anything tickles your fancy in that sort of way. Not in this way, but that way. Always lube. Lube always just goes right at yes. 
Uh, Mayhem is still breathing, which is always a good thing. Yes. Uh, waxing his bits again. Yeah, you got to get your shaft waxed. You wouldn't want it to, you know, catch on anything and be all knobbly. Uh, right, H. We're putting in there. I shall, I shall, first of all, lubricate my shaft. Live on the telly. Uh, then that gets put in there. See, they're getting longer. Each one's getting a little bit bigger than the one before. Except these ones. I think these are the same. No, it's a little bit longer again. Yep. Uh, right, so onto that we are putting uh, E7s. With a A6 next to it. The 5 and the 5 and the 2 3s. So that's all the parts required for this bit. So let's get them all put together. We're getting good at putting these together now. Because it's, you know... It's the same again. If I do something enough times, then eventually I get it right. That one on there. There you go. Uh, then that can go that side. About there. Come on. You know where the you know where the hole is. Just get in there. Uh, then that one can go across the top. And that one can go across the top, even more across the top. Like that, and then that will go on the end. Ba -ba -ba. Jaffa cakes were involved, says Mayhem. Jaffa cakes are often involved. But no, I didn't bribe her yet. There we go, that's that one on there. And have I got enough bits to do the last one, do you think? Let's turn the page and find out. No, I don't need to turn the page because it's I, it's there. So we'll get that lubed up. We'll see what we need. We need E6s. Uh, I haven't got, I've got an E7. Don't need a seven, I need more sixes. Uh, there you go, there's two E6s. Yeah, I've got a few spares of various bits there. Couple of sixes. Uh, Red for rabbits here, saying derp. Is that just say announcing your arrival, or are you calling me names? Because either one fits, it works. Don't worry about that. Uh, right, let's see. So that's the sixes. That's that that's going to go through there. I need another E16, which is one of those, and one will just about come out on its own. Good. That tidied up. Right, uh, then we've got the three, the three, the five, and the five. So, yeah, that's all the bits required for this part. Get that up there. Get these on there. And then I expect we're going to be putting this together with the other bit. I hope so. I like assembling individual bits but i do like putting them together into one <clears throat> that's probably my favorite part is putting the sub assemblies together to make one thing so that on there uh that on the top that across there And that across the front. There we go. So we've got the pile of houses that all neatly make up one nice long slope going down. Uh, and that was the end of that bit. So let's turn the page over. And see that we're going to be building something completely different but we're then building other things there that is the next page isn't it? yeah is that that uh building all that lots of stuff and then assembling it i think we're going to get that far tonight that's my my plan to do the next couple of pages get it all assembled onto one thing and then we'll be able to stop and complete it next week Eric is wondering why no one in the Williams household 
had the foresight to film the DIY projects, it would make for some entertaining telly. Yeah, but then you'd, it wouldn't be monetized because of all the swearing. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, I need F uh, uh, 6 D15s. What have I got up here? There's F. Let's get the Fs off first. F8, 9, and 10. 8, 9, and 10. Are those ones that are all joined together there? That's convenient. Okay, there's 8, 9, and 10. Let's get them separated and then tidied. The front panel on lifter 3 isn't attached. Uh, the front panel. You're right, that's why I put it there. I, I was waiting to see if anybody would notice that absence. It's not that I completely forgot it at all. Um, yeah, uh, well, well noticed, uh, Retro. Thank you. You win the tonight's prize. I think that's where I got confused with the whole three being different to all the others. I don't know why three is different to all the others. It's very strange. It's got that rounded bit. Is that a different bit on the front then? Oh, has it got a front? Let me check, let me check before I just jam anything on there. Uh, it's this one. It is, it's an A5. It just goes on the front. They're the same. No, that's not the third one. This is the fourth one. The third one's that one. So it is an A5, it does go on there the same. But I might have that curve piece the wrong way round, looking at that. Looks like the curve piece goes that way, not this way. So I'll have to take one half of this off. Turn that around so that goes that way. Put that on there, and then put that on there. Right, there we go. So that's that there now then. Thank you very much. So I don't know why that's different to the others. It's very strange. I'm sure it will become clear when it all goes together. But for some reason, it sort of makes it not fit together quite so well. But anywho. Uh, right, so we've got 8, 9 and 10. They go on there somewhere. With these bits going outwards there. That's going to go in that side like that, and that's going to go in that side, making a big cross shaped cogwheel center like that. I shall get that all sanded around the outside. Chris unblocked the sink, says Sprugo. I don't know what that was. Athol says, Evening all on both sides of the pond. Chris paints a fence in the snow. It's not snowy, dear. Uh, uh, uh. I feel this is going to rotate, so that's why I need to make sure that it's properly lubricated. Actually, it isn't. It's going to have things fitted to it, but that's all the same. So that goes like that. Now I need D15s. That's, this is where I need the six of the D15s. Uh, C, B, B, where's D? Where's D? D, there you go. Oh, that looks like the last of the D's as well. These, this is one of the very thick sprues. Two, three. These are the off-center cams that are going to lift those pieces. Oh, no, there are still a couple of pieces on here. I just see them over there. Just so I didn't throw that away, innit? <laughs> uh, DIY is usually Chris and Casey. Uh, I've been laughing too much as they argue so much. Yes. We only argue when she doesn't listen to me being right. Right, so let's get these tidied up because these are the bits that are going to do the lifting. So these do need to be smooth, sanded. I don't know what that means. That means oil it. I assume that means sand it because, you know, it's going to be the moving part that's going to do the lifting. So if you've got little nubs left on it, then that will cause problems with this. It will jam up. So I'm sanding it and as I rotate it to try and keep the round shape of it, although I think it 
a little bit off is not going to matter too much on these. You're not talking about very high tolerances. There we go. Uh, so Wednesday tonight, tomorrow is an evening with a gang. Uh, hopefully at 8 p.m. tomorrow night, I'll have a couple of people joining me to hang out and chat with you lot for another hour or hour and a half. Uh, and then Sunday is my turn again for the Warhamster. Uh, right, there's little marks on this that show where they've got to be. So we get like that. They go up, down, up, down. So the one on this side has got to be going upwards. Although it doesn't. The first one doesn't matter because it's either upwards or downwards. And whichever one it is, you could just turn the thing around. So there we go. Let's get that one on there. Actually, let's take that one into there as an up. And then I'll put another one on down. There. And then another one on up there and then these ones i put one going down if i can i'm sure i can yeah there we go Peggy says it's me that doesn't listen to her well yeah obviously i don't listen to her when she's wrong because would, then we'd be doing it wrong but it's me that tells it right up and the first one is down that's that So yeah, there we have a uh, a camshaft that's going to do the lifting and dropping of those. Cool. I shall lubricate around the edges of all of these. That's the first one. Do 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 do. Just talk amongst yourselves while I'm doing this. You can just watch me lubing. Ah ha 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 ha. Do 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 do. Chris is a bit of a Homer Simpson with DIY. I, it all works. It's all fine. It's good. Uh, screw glue's got to go. Little people to put to bed. Well, good good on you. Yeah. Sort me out. We might see you back later. You never know. Uh, Katie, go and hit him. Just screw glue. No, there's no violence. We, we've surpassed, but we've gone past violence. We're just at the uh, latent ignoring stages now. Which, when you're in lockdown and, you know, locked in the house together it's it's quite serious uh, right that was that now it looks like we need lots more uh it says lubricate all of those yeah i figured all that I, i'll be doing all the bottom of those as well that's that one two that's three gonna need to break out the other bit of wax in a minute the fourth one the fifth one and finally, but not last, the sixth one. Lubing, says Lynn, lubing. Lube. Right, that's that. So then we need other bits. We need oh, lots of lots of bits from this. Drinking first. Right. B. B. Most of the Bs are on this. Except for the bits that aren't. Like those. B2, I need that one. I think that was the other one that we had up here, wasn't it? That would be one, which I do also need now. So let's tidy that up. There we go. B1, B2. I need two B19s. I'm being approached. She bring me food. She brought me a Yorkie. No, she hasn't. Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Yes, she has. I've got, I've got, ow. They told me to do that. Biscuit and a Yorkie, because you got told to, apparently. But yeah. F6. I need the big one there. That's that. Right. I'll do that up a little bit. Uh, Fox is here. What is this infernal machine that's coming together? Uh, it was the same as it was last week. You didn't watch last week, did you? You weren't here. I think you're sleeping or something pooping but uh yes there we go all right that's that so i still need uh, b1 to uh, two b19s the b was the little one the little extra sprue bit here the one that came out the middle of the entire base 
Uh, so I've got one and two. I need two 19s. Uh, 28, 25, 17. Got me getting close. There you go. There's two 19s. There's a 19 and a 19. I uh, also need a 20, which is that slightly different shaped one of the same thing. go bloody up the 20 put that there so it's the 20 we know it's that these are a bit narrower so they're easier to tell apart i also need e one three and four e have i got e out yet no that's c that's up there e is the other one with with that right one three and four there's four there's three okay one three and four sorted is that all the bits i need for that it looks like it might be yeah well done uh fox is asking if he gets a yorkie as well oh you're not allowed out of the house so no <laughs> uh, although you did do very well in class today fox so we'll give you that although you were the one that was causing more problem than anyone else so yeah there's also that <clears throat> right let's see we've got to lubricate your hole because you, you must have your hole lubricated otherwise the thing can't rotate when it's inserted right let's see we've got that going across the bottom four which is that one that goes into the bottom bit of like that then that with the plus end that bit goes through there uh, we lubricate the hole so I don't need to worry about the tube. F6 goes on the end of that. Look at it the right way round. Come on. It's a slightly thicker bit. One bit slightly thicker than the other. So it'll only go on two ways round, not four ways round. There we go. How is that Yorkie still there? It's been over 10 seconds. I haven't even opened it. I'll just leave it there to one side so you can watch it with all your face holes. Uh, right, then that goes in through that top bit there like that yeah and then that goes on to that side there with all of those so that joins up through the hole that goes through that bit that bit hole and that bit and that will make up our um piston lifting machine uh yeah that was all that and then these side bits that hold it all together so which one's which b1 goes uh this is b2 so this goes on this side like that uh right where's that top bit goes through there yeah i know that bit goes through there and that's just got to go across there isn't it well, it does, it goes in there somehow. Don't go in there, what? Oh, in there, okay. It can't go in there, that doesn't line up with the top bit, does it? Wait, what? Go further out then, I think. I don't get this bit now. Let's try the other side, see if that makes more sense. Uh, that bit is down the bottom of there, it goes over there. That's easy, and that bit goes up there. That, that, that makes sense to me. When he goes on the bottom bit there, 19 goes on the top bit there. So far, so good, yep. Yeah uh ba, ba, ba. let's see athol says uh he's off as a chicken's cooking uh fox says uh i was his streaming teacher today and taught ted and i many things and put many informations into our brains yes and colin as well you forgot colin was there because he was fairly quiet but he was still there right so that's that there now that they jam in there quite tight i'm not sure that's not going to fall down look that should be 
I don't know. And then when that turns round, they should do some liftings. This is the, the weak point of the entire thing, because they don't fall down again. We'll worry about that in a moment and see about lubing the sides and stuff. But I'm not sure how this bit goes on. That's obviously got to go there. So that goes down to there. So is that the top part of that goes through there? And the bottom bit hangs off the bottom. That makes more sense to me. Okay, yeah, that, that'll work. I can get that to work. That one on there, and then the 19 goes on the top there. Hold that in place. Right, so this is the bit that's going to lift the marbles up and down as things go up and down. Still don't know why that one's different in the middle. I don't think that's right. Because that's sort of locking everything up. I feel like that one should be up the end here. You know what I mean? I, I feel it quite strongly. And it definitely says F is the one with the six and the thing and the twiddly bit. But I think it's lying to me. Uh, there's a G3. I didn't pull that bit out because it didn't say it. Oh, dude, it's over there. Oh, I really missed it. Let's get a G3. Uh, G3 is one of those. And that goes underneath in the middle somewhere. Maybe something to do with that. Why that's got that bit because of this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about it. And this is going to make it all okay. Uh, take that off there again. And then I can get that in the middle where it needs to be. Going upwards? Yes, going upwards. Okay, this is going to make a little bit of space in the middle there. So that might be okay again. Maybe they have thought it through. And they're not complete idiots like I was thinking. Get that one in there. Down a bit, come on. There we go. That's where you need to go. Just in there. That's it. That's that's your that's your new home. You live there. That's your forever home. You sit down there and and behave. That one's gonna have to go in there as well. Come on. Which way you got to go? Got to go backwards a little bit. No, that is, no, it's not there. It's not quite there. It's nearly there, but it's not quite there. I can see you being not quite there. That's better. There you go. There you go. You feel much nicer there. You are. Now you're there properly, don't you? That's where you need to be. Right, let's get this put in the right place there. Let's get that back on there. And it feels like we're almost done. Fox has retracted something, but I missed completely what it was that he retracted. Okay, so. Still not feeling like it's going to work. It just feels a little bit too tight, some of this. It will probably wear in. A lot of these wooden kits seem to not work properly. The first few times you move them by hand but after that once they've worn in and worked their way home a little bit then they do so i'm going to add some more lube to all of the joints all of the all of the bits that might slide against other bits it doesn't tell you to but you know it doesn't always have to it's just come apart a bit as well which is never a good thing get that back together on there Come on, you know you want to. That goes on there. That bit goes in there. That side is now not in that side. But that side is. Okay, a little bit of wobble. A little bit of wobble is always a good thing. That's not quite right. I need a little pokey tweezers to get in there. 
to get that in the right place. That's that in the right place. Okay. So now let's get this back in place as well. Right, so that's there. It's obviously going to be holding itself together a bit better once it's all assembled. So that's moving as it should. A couple of those are working as they should. And a couple of them just aren't. They just feel very stiff. Basically the whole bottom section feels very stiff. It's stiff in the bottom. The top's working okay. Mm. Sides are together as they should be. It's not that anything's not pushed firmly together. Which is a shame because that would give me exactly the same re end result. Alright, let's try again. That moves up but doesn't really want to come down. Top three seem to be working. You can't really see them from that angle, but if I hold them at any other angle, it doesn't work at all. There you go. That's what should happen. That should go up, and those two should go up as that one goes down. But the bottom three are just not responding properly. Or at all is the word that I'm looking for. Why is that? That one seems to be maybe not as fully home as it should be. It might just need loosening up and wearing in. Or I shall persevere with it off air and swear at it and hit it with things. And I'm sure that that will make it work better. So that was that. Let's turn the page over. Uh, uh, we've got other bits to put into the side to make the pistons not slight, not hit. That might help. Uh, so I need uh, 10 B3s and 5 B6s. So the bees come back out again. I uh, didn't put them away. They're up here. Uh, should be fine when you add the weight of the marbles, says Athol. Uh, yes, but no, they're not always going to have marbles in them. They're going to need to work under their own weight as well. Uh, so I need 10 B3s. That's all of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... That doesn't help. I need ten. B6s uh, are above that. There's three of them. One, two, three. There's two more. Four, five. Uh, I needed five of these, so that's good. Right, where's the other bit of B? There we go. Look, there's three more. So three and that seven make ten. So that's all of that sprue done. And once I get these out, that will be all the parts for this build, this part of the build. Get them there, them there, right. Quick bit of sanding. Uh, Colin's here, Pastor. Good evening, welcome. Uh, Graham M, what's that I'm seeing? It's a Yorkie biscuit. What is that? I'll show you in a minute then. As I've had requests about it, not just Fox salivating over it. I should demonstrate a Yorkie biscuit to you all. It's basically biscuit and Yorkie mixed together. Um, if you can imagine, you know, a biscuit with um, Yorkie over it. And that's a Yorkie biscuit. Pretty self-explanatory, really, when you think about it. But, you know. <laughs> uh, Steve131 is here as well. Welcome. Hello. Uh, any other new names in there? Not that I can see at the moment. Nothing worse than a stiff bottom. I don't know, sometimes it's quite nice to have a stiff one. A drink, obviously, that's what I'm talking about. A stiff drink is, is quite nice to have sometimes. Yeah. Right, let's see. Where are these going in there? Oh, these are going in there, and then they're going in the other side there. And these are going on the other side. That makes sense to me. That That's, that's fine. I understand that. So we've got... That going on each of them. Or five of them anyway. Three, four, and five. 
on the other side so and there going on to here and going through there that's going to hold the uh, pistons in place as well so the pistons are going to be going against the edges a little bit maybe so let's lube up the edges a bit because they might move that one on there yeah this is this is coming together now i love it when a build comes together get that through there that one goes on there like that and on the other side of those the ones without the holes on them would also need to be slightly lubed on the edges possibly there's no such thing as too much lube then you've got to get that connected to there top and bottom and these ones on the middle as well So this will hold everything in place, stop the pistons from going from side to side, and also, hopefully, will stop the pistons from wobbling too much, and will create a better angle for them to be pushed on, which should make it work better. That's the plan, anyway. I think that's the way they're looking at it. Get that works over there a bit, so I can get the middle bit in. And there's that one. Cool. A little bit more. Uh, if I had a mug of tea, they wouldn't care, says Mayhem. I don't know what that was about. But generally, yes, if people have got a mug of tea, they don't care about so much. That's that one. Only a couple more to go. And then we've got a couple of other shape pieces to put in and then we can put it together and then we can be done at about half past just like normal it's terrible it's almost like these things are, are planned and organized and work almost that one i can't get that bit to join up in the middle for some reason it's too high so let's push it down a little bit there we go that's gone together uh what i'm going to do is lube all of these bits now so i can forget about doing that later no such thing as too much lube says mayhem exactly right it's almost like someone who knew what they were talking about said that <laughs> right so that's that there and that one there i'm going to get the other side on as well last one on that side connect it up and then these two will join up and finish the superstructure for the interior the most complex part of the build and obviously the part that's not working properly at the moment because it's the most complex part of the build uh which way has that got to go now uh, it's got to go that way a bit just like that there we go and that one now the last one that can be in the right place it looks like about the right place let's find out now that it isn't Oh, no, that isn't. That's again off to one side a little bit. That way, just a little bit, I think. No. Still not quite right. I can't quite see which way that is. It's got to go that way a bit. There we go. Right, so that's that now joined up and mostly working now things are working in the right sort of directions 
couple of them are still not quite right down the bottom there, but they're better than they were. You can see them moving a little bit there. So that's that. All good so far. Getting better. It will get better. It says turn it and it should do things. And it is doing things. So yeah, when you get things just lined up better, it should work better. Now I need C14 and C15. Uh, C, this C. I thought I hadn't used C down here for a while. 14 and 15. These two down the corner here. Look like brackets to hold something else in place at some point soon. Uh, they go together. That one there, that one comes out the side of it like that. And it goes onto the front of this on there. Get in there, sorted. That's that. And then we get everything together. So if you haven't seen it before, this is the main everything. Which is like that. This is what I built last week, the whole base frame piece. And this bit where you turn the handle and the wheels turn a bit. So now I've got to figure out how all this goes together. It says lube things. I've already lubed the wheels, so that's okay. C and J. Well, I knew that one goes on there, there-ish. But I didn't want to just push it down because I wasn't sure it lined everything up yet. And that's going across the back there like that. So this wheel is going to interact with that wheel. Oh no, actually it's going to interact with a little cog behind that wheel. Uh, so, I think I can get this one down first, properly. It just all keys into place. Slots and grooves. There we go, that's quite sturdily attached now. And then this one will go on there. Much the same. Because on the back, the front's going to be the tricky one because of all the thing. It goes in there and down. A little bit further than that. There we go. There we go. So, last week we did the front. Then we did that. That's all the mechanical, or the main mechanical part. So if I turn this... What should happen? That will all still turn. These should go up and down. So they're going up and sort of up and down-ish. I get the impression that if that was down as it should be, then it would probably be working. They're going up and down. They're sort of... That one's still not quite right. I shall work it in and, and make it work and do things. Uh, but in the meantime, I shall open my Yorkie biscuit. Uh, da, da, da. What are we talking about? Did your car pass the MOT, says Steve 131? Yes, it did. It didn't the first time, because they very rarely do the first time, in my experience. So the garage took it back to sort out the spring thing that needed sorting out. Uh, there was a problem with uh, the battery. Uh, because of all the, you know, being in lockdown, not driving it so much, short journeys. The battery died, basically, and it upset the onboard computer, so they had problems with it then. But they fixed it the next morning, and then I had it back. That's a Yorkie biscuit. It's got chocolatey biscuit inside, and chocolate Yorkie around the outside. And it's quite lovely. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's sort of working, but they these ones are sort of dropping quite suddenly, which isn't a problem. I'm not sure it will sort itself out in use, basically. They just need a little bit of wearing in. Uh, talking about what MOTs are. Um, yeah, I don't know what it stands for. Uh, Ministry of Transport, but MOT just became the de facto name for the test. Yeah. Do 
So, yes, I'm going to call that a day there. I'll spend a couple of hours just twiddling me knob now and making sure that works. I might take it apart because I see that says E5 on it now from the top. I've got all the others the other way up, but I might have to take it apart to get that the right way round so it's not got the number on it. Some of the parts you can't help but have the numbers showing, but some you can. So, yeah, I'll get that partially apart. I shall add some more lube and make it work. Uh, so basically, what, what will happen, it will have ball bearings inserted into it. And they will lift themselves up um, by dint of sliding panels and things. So um, basically, if one goes there, when it can, when that one falls down there, it will fall down to this one. And then when that gets lifted up, it will fall down to that one. And then that one, and then that one, and then that one, and then off that one, when it gets to the top, I'm going to push it down, it'll do other things. It's got a little helter skelter thing to do. And then it gets fed around to this wheel, somehow, around the front, I think. And by turning that, as you turn it, I don't know which way you meant to turn it, but either, either way you turn it, it does basically the same thing. Um, the ball gets carried up and gets deposited out, and that feeds it round through to the start of this. So you can sit there and twiddle this all day. And it will make the balls continue round on their merry way. Assuming this doesn't jam up like that, but yeah. Um, so that's that. Uh, as I say, I think next week I shall be finishing it. Um, there's most of what's to happen now. is just fairly simple building of rails by the looks of it. To guide the ball. There we go. So you've got the back bit. These, these bits here that have got the helter skeltery bit um and yeah bits that go forward and backwards so it goes backwards and around and whittles a couple more semi-interesting parts to build but i reckon if i've got all that done today it'll end up looking like that and you say by turning the handle the ball comes out there goes down there goes up there goes down there oh little twiddly seesaw bits it's quite good fun Left down there, back there, and then it gets lifted up to the top again. So, uh, yeah, that looks like that's probably going to be completed next week, I would expect. If not, then I'll do another week afterwards. There's always stuff to do. Uh, so, let me have a look back at everybody. Um, and see what's been going on. So it's all about the MOT, so that's all that. That's good there. Uh, crunchy on the outside and smooth on the inside. Armadillos. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it looks yummy, I must try, says Lynn. I don't know that you'll necessarily be able to get them, but you can get them somewhere. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, my memory has completely disappeared. Uh, would the dark chocolate one be for nighttime drivers only? Uh, yeah, I, I like the rum and raisin one. Um, I don't like nuts. So the, the almond one, I've never had. Uh, I like watching the circular bits at the bottom pop out. Quite mesmerising. <laughs> uh, yeah, it needs more music. Bingley beep, no, all right, yes, so that's that. Um, yes, Ted will be around in about half an hour, uh, doing his uh, no, no dog boat tank. Uh, so I expect I shall be around for a bit in that. I'll, I'll sit here twiddling this while I'm watching. Uh, but other than that, say tomorrow night is an evening with, so um, join me and hopefully a couple of other people, uh, just here to hang out and chat and ask your questions in the chat so you can answer them and give us something to talk about. Uh, Later on in the week, there's obviously the normal stuff going on. Fox is not doing Elite anymore at the moment because his joystick's broken. He, he's not getting any joy from his stick at the moment. Uh, so he's doing Fallout and uh, Skyrim again, uh, assuming he's not asleep or, you know, stuff. Uh, there's a chance that I might be popping up on the Team Inept channel at midday-ish tomorrow uh, to play something. Uh, whether it's another episode of The Room or something a bit different. I might I feel, feel the need to do some VR. So I might start a VR game tomorrow. So keep an eye on the Team Inep channel. Like and subscribe. And uh, other than that, I'll be back here tomorrow night for Evening With. And Sunday night is my turn for the Warhamster. So I shall be continuing the um, whatever it is that I'm building. I can't remember. It's the Achilles Ridge Racer thing. The little car with guns on it. Yes, that's what I'm doing Sunday night. Um, after everybody else has streamed during the day on Sunday, you've got uh, Colin in the early afternoon uh fox in the late afternoon and me in the evening so thank you all for watching um stay safe and you know 
keep yourself occupied find something to do because mental health is also important as well as physical health and not catching viruses find something to do and keep yourself active even if it's you know watching a series of something on telly or doing puzzles crosswords or anything playing computer games building something find something and keep yourself active ish brain active not necessarily body active because i like sitting down it's fun uh, so that's that. Uh, Fox says good night. See you in a bit. Uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. And if you must go out, wear a mask. Uh, that's that. Uh, not 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 good when your stick doesn't work. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so thank you. All. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now. <laughs>